A Kyusu teapot is one of the best ways to prepare loose leaf Japanese green tea. This teapot originated in the Song Dynasty in China, but began to rise in popularity in Japan in the 18th century. As tea preparation began to shift from powdered matcha tea to loose leaf sencha tea, people needed a way to filter out the tea leaves and keep them from pouring into the cup. The teapot was a perfect tool for this, and making tea was easier compared to the ritualistic preparation of matcha during the tea ceremony. The first benefit of using the teapot is that it allows the leaves more space to open up and release their flavor into the water. While the tea strainer can be a good tool to prepare loose leaf green tea, it often presses the leaves together too tightly so they don't release their full flavor. A tea bag is an even more extreme example of this, allowing the leaves little to no space to move once they're inside the water. What you need to do is provide a larger container for the tea leaves while they're brewing. In a teapot like this, the tea leaves have all the space they need to expand nicely. A second benefit to the teapot is that it has a built-in sifter to automatically filter out the leaves. This is the most important important thing when it comes to preparing loose leaf tea for two reasons. The main reason is that you don't want to drink the tea leaves directly, but also you want to stop them from brewing at a specific time. Most Japanese green teas are brewed for one minute at a cooler temperature, and after that time's up, the leaves and water need to be separated. If the leaves sit in the water for too long, it will extract more of the bitter flavors from the leaves. These bitter catechins are more difficult to extract, and that's why when you brew tea for a shorter time or at a cooler temperature, it will be much less bitter. There are two types of filters in a clay teapot. The first type is a metal mesh filter, and the second type is a built-in clay filter. The built-in clay filter is more sought after, but can make the teapot more expensive because it needs to be carved into the pot itself. The metal filter has an advantage, and that is that it makes it harder for the teapot to clog. If the leaves clog the holes near the spout of the clay teapot, it can really stop the flow of the water. If the leaves do the same thing on a metal circular filter, the water can just move around and pour into the cup uninterrupted. This is particularly useful for deep steamed fukumushi teas, which have much smaller leaf particles. A third reason to use the teapot is that the clay itself can actually improve the flavor of the tea. Just like with the filtering, this factor can vary from teapot to teapot. Some clay teapots are glazed and some are unglazed. The glaze of the teapot can create some neutrality in the pot, making it versatile for all different types of teas. The unglazed teapots are more porous, so they actually accentuate some of the flavors of the tea and even cut down on some of the bitterness. If you're planning on using one teapot for all of your teas, we recommend getting a glazed teapot like this red Kyusu. Having that thin layer of glaze in your teapot will allow you to switch between different types of tea without retaining the flavor of either. If you really want to explore one particular type of tea like Gyokuro for example, you may want to look into an unglazed teapot. These teapots can push the savory notes of the Gyokuro even further and even cut back on some of the bitterness. A fourth benefit of the teapot is that it makes it easier to pour and share the tea. With other types of tea brewing accessories, it can be difficult to share tea with multiple people, but with the teapot, it makes serving quite easy. When you pour tea tea from multiple people, make sure you use the alternate pouring method. When the tea leaves are brewing inside the teapot, they tend to sink to the bottom and therefore the last few drops poured out tend to be the strongest. This isn't a problem when you're pouring it all at once into one glass for yourself, but if you're pouring it into multiple glasses, you want to alternate the pouring so everyone gets the same tasting tea. Then you can all talk about the taste together. The final reason to use a Japanese teapot is because most of them have this nice side handle. This side handle serves two important purposes. The first is that it's hollowed out so it stays cool to the touch, allowing you to pour the tea without burning your hands. The second reason is that it allows for more refined movements when serving tea. A simple turn of the wrist is all it takes to pour a cup of tea, which makes the preparation of Japanese green tea even more elegant. If you don't have a teapot yet, we're offering free red teapots on our website with certain orders. Just visit neoteas.com to see how you can get one. Once you have your teapot, you will be able to prepare even better cups of Japanese green tea at home. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about teapots, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.